What's going on YouTube? My name is Vitamin D Stan and welcome back to some Kinko. If you've not seen the previous episode, go watch it right now. Thank you. Anyways, I've nothing to say. Let's get straight into this video. Nah, she went home early and we hadn't done anything like that. The other boarders had seen so for themselves, so there were no strange rumors floating around today. Only issue I was running in there today was that it sounded acting strangely again. I felt that, I felt that. あ、でもシルビー、そっか。何を納得したのかしらレーナ。9時を過ぎちゃうね。you can tell the squawk and ramble to their heart's content. Tune the loud mouse out and turn my attention to Ellie. Are you okay, Ellie? If it's too rough on you, you should head to the nurse's office. Ellie would maintain her composure, demean composed demeanor right up until the. Oh my god, oh my. Until she couldn't take any more, so the fact she looked too sleepy was proof she was having a hard time. I felt the sleepiness though. Anybody else have been having trouble sleeping? Yeah, me too. Might be a different story if she just eaten, but I wanted to avoid her falling asleep in a strange place. Too, huh? Well then... That should work out to four or five hours of sleep. Definitely rough, but not so awful she'd drop on the spot. Hmm. As your boyfriend, I'd love to ask you what you were doing the whole time. Sure. Guess I couldn't ask, then. Pains my heart. Were you beating off? Were you having a beating off problem just like Mako from Samurai Banka? Oh! Right, 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 we're doing that. She's <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me she was watching the porn she saw in his cat in his catalog. Oh no. Oh no. Nanika問題ですか? <laughs> ニッポン<笑> あるしを縦に取られ、地獄を受ける死などだいあかん方向に突き進んでますね。うん。yeah, indeed, indeed. So, Edison is acting really weird lately. Do you have any idea what's going on? 
エロいのは真面目ですのですきっとものすごく真面目な理由だと思いますわ Yeah, I bet That made it difficult to stick my nose into her business What could you do? A whole lot of nothing 金色ラブリッチェ<laughs> Saturday Clubs buckled down hard on our days off, and students would spend every walking hour at practice. Waking. Walking. What the freak am I on? This is what no sleep does. Or not enough sleep. Or rather, that only held true for extremely blessed clubs at some sports oriented schools. Ground, at the show, this. Go and watch the game. That kind of noise. Boodoo, Joe, the Judo, the Hida, the Hida. Most clubs did not, could not clean space, so everyone ended up killing time with super basic cardio exercises. Unable to get their hands on swords for the day, the fencing club focused purely on tedious exercise. Which is why I ran away. Sylvie had come to school on her day off as well. それまでに指を鳴らしておこうと思ってね自由な時間が取れてよかったな自由に演奏できる時間ってあまり取れないから A recital, huh? A celebrity like Sylvie would definitely have a schedule jam-packed with special events over the holiday season Christmas and whatnot sounded hectic Are the pieces so difficult that you need to put in the extra practice? 本当よ子供でも弾けるわでも練習は大事なの指に覚え込ませないと楽譜を追うような演奏じゃいい音が出ないわ。This whole conversation was completely over my head. As Sylvie read her sheet music. それで10日と少しになるわね。エルと恋人をしてもらうことになって。Barely? Yeah. Felt like more time had passed, but it had only been 10 days since we started quote unquote dating. どうエルは結婚したくなった I'm pretty sure that was never the deal. Hmm. Hmm. Well, even if you set aside how Sylvie had instigated us into having our dinners together, we developed close enough of a relationship to lend her my shower and for me to casually help dry her hair. Not to mention how she had stayed overnight, even if it was an accident. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like he. Mission? She said a mission. Sylvie grinned, clearly acting like her tongue had slipped. Give me a break here. I thought it was weird how pushy you were being to propose all of this in the first place. Do you seriously have some ulterior motive? <laughs> Uh, good god. Sun goes down a little and I'm yawning. It's not the game, I swear. Okay, so, uh, she's definitely not lying. What a mess. Putting Sylvie's schemes aside, I didn't change the fact that quote unquote dating together was nothing but a huge perk for me. Still. So, what's this mission of yours? Sylvie, <laughs> It looked like they had to come to school separately and Ella looked rather panicked. Jeez. Yes, hello. She must not have noticed me until then either. Grooming? Hold on. Huh? Oh, that's a great idea. That's a really great idea. Am I being invited to another one of your concerts? Miss Musician, please set the mood with some background music. Hi. Sylvie giggled and let her fingers slide across the keys. Nice. Maybe my phrasing had been a little rude just now. Although Ellie looked exasperated by my request, she remained silent. If I had made that kind of comment when we first met, she surely would have scolded me. How dare you speak to the princess that way? We were close enough now that I could get away with jokes. 
A story jo jovially ran a finger across the keys. Yay, wonderful results. Good job. Very good job. Well, yeah, four hours of sleep. Good job. Yeah, do that. Huh? I noticed Sylvie's expression suddenly went stiff. I really shouldn't have been surprised that the brief lapse in motion hadn't impacted her musical performance, but now that I'd seen it firsthand, it was clear to me how displeased Sylvie was by Alice's comment. ないんじゃないかしら。来年だってあるでしょ。自分は競技者としては国に戻れば私は一階の騎士。シルビア様に常にお仕えする従者の一人です。趣味に構けている暇はありません。フェンシング、そんなに好きなのに仕方のないことです。そう。It was on that note that Sylvie went silent and focused on her performance. What was it? The timber hadn't changed whatsoever. Yet the tone of her notes felt like they had turned to icy. We saw it off as she headed back to club. Now then. You want Ella to continue fencing, but it sounds like she's got other plans. Does this have anything to do with the mission you mentioned earlier? Her fingers stopped. When her performance ended, everything became crystal clear to me when I saw the furious look on her face. This comment had really, really ticked her off. What a rarity. Oh no, it is. Someone as absent-minded as Sylvie could make a face like that? Everyone is entitled to make their own life choices, especially if they want to keep practicing or not. Talent isn't the issue, but rather how the person feels. That certainly would complicate things, yes. The way I saw it, I didn't believe that Ellie wanted to quit fencing either. It was obvious Ellie loved to compete and how much she desperately wanted to continue fencing. Yep. Sure is. She whispered that last part too quietly for me to make out. Oh, what a great idea. What a great, easy to follow mission name. It's not a mission, but a complete delegation. I'd argue that a princess forcing us to get married spurred of the moment is hardly natural, but I do get your point. That's why I'm telling you this is delegation. I knew what her mission or whatever was now, but she was telling me to change Alice's sentiments toward fencing or put it in a grandiose way, her way of life? There were limits to how absurd your request could get. Just to put this out there, if you're insisting I persuade her, that's out of the question. If I were to tell Ale, you should prioritize fencing over Sylvie, then she'd probably get angry at me. We finally had a friendly atmosphere between us and I didn't want to screw that up. Most importantly of all, if she wanted to quit a sport, then it would be best for her if she followed through. Forcing yourself to keep playing a sport just because other people told you to would be foolish. Or so I thought, but Sylvie flashed me a soft smile and said, Yeah, 
yes, ma'am. I mean, sir, ma'am, ma'am. Huh? What does she mean? Sylvie giggled at me as I tilted my head in confusion. Ah. It sounded relatively passive for something she had called a mission. Would a strategy like that pan out? I had my doubts. In Sylvie's mind, there was an open and shut case. I didn't realize just how much people relied on me. People rely on you? I stuck around at the academy even after Sylvie had gone home. Hmm. This plan of Sylvie's. Setting aside whether it would work out or not, I had no reason to fight her on it. In truth, I was happy that Ella and I had gotten closer as a result. However, it did bug me a little to know that I had been played. What bugged me worse, though, was Sylvie and Ella's relationship. Oh, how could I describe it? This development had really reinforced something I'd sensed before. What? For whatever reason, they were somewhat reserved around one another. It wasn't like they had a poor relationship. They were incredibly close, actually. Although Ella had sworn absolute, unwavering loyalty to her, so his affections for Ella were far greater. In spite of those feelings, there were clearly a rift between them. Now that he says that, I had barely really noticed that. It's always been kind of in the back of my mind. So deep in the back of my mind that I didn't even think about that ever. Not even once. I felt like they were overly mindful of that gap and were keeping a calculated distance from one another. Why? I knew it wasn't my place, but I was worried all the same. No. Yes? When suddenly a man spoke to me. Who was he? He was an older man with a friendly smile. I didn't recognize him. But I did notice something. Is it her brother? No, probably not. He called out and beckoned me over. He was outside the school gates and made absolutely no attempt to come inside. That was when it occurred to me. Oh, he came here on a job. What is it? I couldn't ignore him and that was my way home. No other choice but to pop over. Yeah, <laughs> He knew my name. He must have done his research and read up on me. Namely, the hot topic currently circulating, circulating online, Heroina-san's boyfriend. Right. He was beating around the bush and really playing it by the book. Maybe I should go straight for the kill? If you're here to talk about Ella, then I've got nothing to say to you. Mm. Sortilege has me bound to secrecy. I may have jumped the gun a little, but I played the This isn't an international issue card. I didn't know who this guy was. I wasn't sure why he was here, but at least he wasn't snapping candid photos of me while we spoke. What's more, he hadn't come on the school grounds. He was avoiding trespassing. That should mean he wouldn't pick any fights with royalty. I'll take your word for it. Um, so what is this then? An interview or part of a gossip column? Mm, well then, please hand me that interview fee. Once you do, I'll let my contacts at Soto Legend know I accepted an interview. Ah,はははは。君が座ってるね、君。おじさんも家庭があるし、世間話ってことでどうかな？ね。He wasn't backing down, huh? 
Not only was he persistent, but the fact that he had an interview budget at all meant he was in the business. With that in mind, I'd like some information on my own. The pretend lover strategy Sobe had devised worked wonders with addressing the candid photos, but it was a double-edged sword that supplied weekly magazines and other legitimate media with tantalizing material. If only it could keep them at bay until the day of the competition, or so I had hoped. But that had apparently been naive of me, unfortunately. Fortunately, the next thing I needed to consider was the company he worked for. If it was just this one guy, then I could probably sidestep him entirely. But if several news outlets and agencies began poking their noses into this, then we'd have more to worry about than just candid photos. Regardless, I could just inform Sobe and let it become sort of religious problem. If this is small talk, then you can mark me down as no comment for everything. This person who came to me under the guise of an interview presumed to be too difficult to work with following their first question. Sound about right? <laughs> he soon realized how unapproachable I was, but the smirk never left his face. Now was the time. All right, which publisher do you work for? Well, aren't you supposed to start by introducing yourself in these situations? You haven't mentioned any names at all. I went in for the second kill. I didn't especially care who he worked for as it would make him any less of a nuisance. I lulled him into a false sense of security and thinking this interview would go off without a hitch and had broken the ice by requesting his credentials. If he had any guilty conscience to speak of, this would be the part where he made a break for it. If he were actually to stick around. He naturally handed me his business card. So he didn't have a, any guilty conscience? His card listed the name Komiya Yesuke. An alias? Nah, maybe I was being paranoid. <laughs> huh? You're leaving already? Uh, oh, he left after handing me his business card. Ah. 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 Me too. Dang it, he tricked me. Oh, I, I guess I wasn't really tricked, but it kind of feels that way. Still, I couldn't very well ignore the feeling in my gut. He had read me and the conversation like a book. I was actively on alert when I approached them, yet I had only learned what they wanted me to know about them. Or rather, they had only told me their assumptions. He had wrapped up all introductions after he handed over his card. It would be tough to ignore him the next time he came around. He had effectively formed a connection with me and Ella. That sounds nice. Is that possible? He just came by to introduce himself and hadn't arranged for an official interview. Mm. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Throwing Noble Academy's name around really helped me in times like these, huh? You mean an oversensitive response will suggest there's something you don't want them to find out? Mm. I'd like to avoid that. If we kicked up a fuzz now, it would likely cause a much larger commotion. I could tell just how massive of a nuisance the media could be. So we shouldn't ruffle any feathers yet, right? The guy who came around last seemed sensible at least. Could probably get through to him now that I'd mentioned Sordilich's name. I desperately wanted to avoid doing anything to attract the paparazzi, <laughs> namely those who would do anything for a story to make international headlines. I could just ignore them next time. Yeah. He was a pretty clever reporter, so I was a little worried he might try and pull a fast one on me next time. To be blunt, I wasn't all that bright. He might... To be blunt, I wasn't all that bright. 
He might extract information from me through idle conversation and I wouldn't realize it in time. Some sort of information. Oh yeah, before all of that. If I were to accept his interview, how would I explain myself? Before I should worry about having information drawn out of me. What information would they even take? Who was I to add in the soldiers as a whole? It was a little late now, but I just realized how trivial my presence was. Um, so first off, I am Sobe's friend. This was the official setup we had reported to the police and public security when we first met. So if any of those details got back to the weekly magazines, it shouldn't result in a scandal. A princess's boyfriend found. You sure that'll be alright? If push comes to shove, we can just drag Higuchi in it with us and have her say I'm friends with everyone. Nothing else, it wouldn't stir up any drama my relationship with Sylvia would go public. Which brought us to... What about us? <gasps> um... Well, we aren't engaged, I assume? How to go from engagement? I don't... No, not from. To engagement. Then, what are we? How close are you and I right now? Suddenly, our faces flushed a bright shade of red. Well, what the heck was I saying? Was that even a question a guy should be asking? I'd put it out there so there was no turning back now. I couldn't deny that I had been thinking about it at the time lately, too. Yeah? I know that we're pretend lovers until December 17th, right? Ah, so that meant we only had 10 days left? Everything went by so fast. What would happen to us then? What should we do? Uh, we really do need to figure this out. Think about it. We'll be in huge trouble if those magazine reports come sniffing around. We need to know what to do if it's put into an article? So, so this is We both froze up. This conversation quickly veered off into an unexpected direction. Neither of us had really given this particular subject any thought. What was the come of us before? Beyond December 17th. Our time as pretend lovers would soon end and we wouldn't really need to interact with one another. You could call us lovers if you wanted, but it wasn't anything like that when all she really did was treat me to a homemade meal every night. Only. Just only. It's not like we'd cut ties completely as we were both classmates and not and close friends at this point. Shedding the title of lovers wouldn't pose any major problems. It wouldn't, but... But... I... I think I'd like for us to stay this way. Oh, he shot his shot. He shot it, he shot it. Nice. Nice. Even after the 17th, even if we stop pretending. Actually... I'd really like it if we stopped pretending altogether right here and now. And we became real lovers. Oh, yeah. I leaned my face towards hers. Ella's eyes widened. <laughs> Even though she knew what I was after, she didn't run away. Give me them biddies. Instead, her eyelids slowly drifted shut and she welcomed me. Oh, interesting. What'd she welcome? Tell me about it. Good thing this is totally not the 18 plus version anymore. Right? Right? Our lips joined together. Finally, it was our first kiss. Ella's lips were astonishingly soft and squishy to the touch, even though every other word out of her mouth was anything but. I briefly wondered if such fragile lips would break if I put too much force into our kiss, but I didn't back away. Every impact was met with a sweet rebound with a powerful and almost jelly-like recoil. Ah yeah, speaking of recoil, she has a whole lot of recoil going on. Simply being pressed against them gave me chills. A kiss, so this is what they were like. Both of us let out a heated sigh. 
and then like so, the rifts between her lips were closed, was closed even more tightly, crushed together by the force behind their impact. Stuck together? Felt more like they had a mesh together. It was as if our lips were being absorbed into one another's. I could even feel Ellie kissing me back. Yeah, W. They definitely boning. Why? Hope. But that was as far as it went. In reality, it had probably been less than a minute, but Ellie quickly pulled away. Are you gonna run out of the room? Ellie. <laughs> ah. She opened and left. <gasps> it was to be expected. Ella and I did live in different worlds. I may have jumped the gun up a little bit. Nah, I think you did fine. I was telling you the truth though. I had fallen for Ella a long time ago. Hmm. Interesting. Even though Ella and I lived in completely different worlds, I knew that deep down, I still loved her. And I had no intention of giving up on her. Good. That was a realization I'd made long ago. Good, good, good. Atta boy. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. December 10th, Sunday. Ellis' championship was only a week away, which meant we only had one week left of our pretend relationship. Maybe we still had another week. Would be a better mindset? Either way. Ah. It had to be today of all days. I won't get to see Ellie. I didn't regret telling her that I loved her yesterday. But yesterday may have been horrible timing. I don't know. I don't think so. Today was the only day this week that I didn't have plans to see Ellie. I could see Ellie at school during the week and then, and when she attended club meetings on her days off. But since they were going to use the martial arts dojo for an entire day next week, this just so happened to be the day the fencing club couldn't use the campus whatsoever. They had the day off. In other words, it was the one day I couldn't see her. Talk about crappy timing. Hmm. Oh, uh, well, you know. How should I handle this? I love to talk about what had happened yesterday and I didn't want to keep it all in myself. Wouldn't it be alright tomorrow? Because there was no real difference between today and tomorrow, but I would have to spend all day in a state of distress. Ah! Yeah, you're not wrong. Ah. Oh, 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 what are you rambling about? What do you base that on? ごまかしても無駄だぜ。証拠は今自分が口で言った聞く。お天と様が見逃しても、この印籠とさくら吹雪とその他もろもろが見逃せしね。<laughs> My magistrate <laughs> Rena has sussed me out. I told you nothing. <laughs> oh, man, we wish. <laughs> Imagine how many tries I wouldn't no. I wonder how many tries it took for this actress, the voice actress to get this down. <laughs> this is too good. Ella's <laughs> boobs. They sure were huge. I didn't touch them, but I guess they had it pressed up against me when we kissed. I would make those mine somehow. Wait, no, no. The second I figured out my feelings for Ella, my, my horniness desire sparked up too. <laughs> I I obviously doubt she would kill me over it. <laughs> I haven't admitted anything. If I had to define it anyway. 
そりゃいかんよオロくん。How did you say anything? What do you mean? It's not like I did anything wrong. We just didn't see things eye to eye right now. それで朝からうむうむなってるわけか。もしわかったここはこの浜中の生けるおせっかいばあさんと言われたこのキサキレイナさんに任せんじゃい Nosy old lady? Absolutely. The way you phrase that makes it sound like all of the nosy old ladies the world over are dead. ツッコむならまずはばあさんってとこね。おいでおろ。ん ?We mean come here. Raina dragged me outside. I got excited for a sec. I thought she was offering up a lab p i l l o But it's not her root anymore. It's pain. Raina dragged me outside. Where are we going? So, yeah, I'm not sure. 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 What are you doing? What are we doing here? I got dragged along with her before I even knew what was going on. It was on the edge of town, deep in the heart of the rich neighborhood that I'd never stepped foot into. The long, seemingly endless brick building was enclosed behind a tall fence, and I briefly wondered if it were an exhibition hall of some kind. Off to the side of a gateway so gigantic it would give Noble Academies a run for its money. She had them open this teensy little door. Raina continued to literally drag me along as she calmed me into the facility and guided me deeper and deeper inside. What is this place? A dance hall? Nimots Kai must not. Ma Taitewa Tadano Risho Kai Tedo d e s u Ah, hello. That familiar older man was here. Namas, Tia san. エルチンは声はかけておきました。時間ができれば来るでしょう。しばしお待ちを。はい。その間に飲み物です。どうぞ。Took out grape juice for us. Oh yeah! Grape juice! You couldn't ask for anything more. Made me grateful. Is this where Sylvia and Ella live? 来たことなかった All right, we've never been here in this room. Nope. This place is amazing. I'd been curious what their home was like, but I had never been. It had this medieval feel to it, which wasn't all that surprising considering where the princess and her knight lived. I noticed a couple of appliances here and there, so it wasn't without modern conveniences. It definitely gave off the impression that sophistication was valued highly. Do you come here often? Wow. No, no. Tom put yourself out for us. It actually sounded uncomfortable, so I passed on his offer. When. Whoa. A set of hands suddenly covered my eyes. Where did she come from? <laughs> I can't wait till Ella does this with Odo, but instead of with her hands, with her boobs. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Oh, now I understood what was going on. Wait, what? What? Why? Why is why is this a thing? I don't understand. Oh my god, I forgot about the guy too. I haven't looked at that thing and that, 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 that thing. I haven't looked at that thing in a long time. But I mean, obviously, I don't think it matters since we're not doing the 18 plus anymore.、Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it matters. But see, for the, if it was the 18 plus version, it would say to. Choose who, but uh, obviously, we're not gonna do that because uh, I tried it once and I still got in trouble. <laughs> luckily, luckily, they didn't take down the video. But that one video where uh, that one episode part, whatever that uh, it got rage age restricted was an episode I could tell you right now. If you're under 18, you won't be able to see it. But if you are 18 or over on the YouTube account thing, you should be able to see it. But、uh, here, let me see. Which one was it that got age restricted? It is titled to The Lutest Episode Yet. It was episode 19 of King Core Golden Leverage, and it was in Sylvia's room. So if you got to see it, great. If you didn't, that's too bad. Grow up already. Who? Who is it? I can't tell. Who is it? Wow. 
Why? She moved her hands away. I turned around. Menacing? <laughs> Some utterly humongous lady filled my view. Who is this? Seriously? Oh, I was about to say, Sylvia. Oh, uh, forget all that. Who is this? <laughs> Her voice sounded kind of deep. Dud. Dud. She headed back from where she came from. Jesus yeah, that's one way of putting it. Why go to all that effort, though? Yeah, is she here? Playing on her computer. <laughs> I wonder what. Hmm. Wonder why. Was she working on some fancy related report or something? Oh. 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 She us an all-knowing smell but refused to elaborate. Mm, I don't know. The princess went to get her in person. Yeah, I figured as much. There were probably heaps of formal procedure procedures involved. By the way, she had called this a ha, huh? Looking from the window and yeah, I did see another state far off in the distance. I couldn't see everything due to the high fence, but there did appear to be two or three estates nearby. And Minatan. I ran into someone unexpected. Actually she was probably more surprised to see us than anything else. And there she went. It's kind of embarrassing to tell our junior, who mentioned she had work, that we came over to her place to hang out. Hmm? That was when I noticed it. Mina chan was going up the stairs. Even though Sylvie had gone down the corridor, leaving, leading further inside the call for Ellison. I wonder where Mina-chan went. I said with no real aim in mind. Huh? The black suit lady gave me a look that said, what's the matter? Uh, but wait, wasn't this odd? Mina-chan lives here, in this building? あ、少々誤解なさっておられるようですね。この屋敷はソルティレージは伊須竹の所有するペットマンとおります。故に、シスワケである神なる様はゲストという形で部屋を取っておられるのです。はあ。The シスワケではありません。イスタケ。引いてはこの3年間はエロいな様の所有となっております。What?現密にはエロいな体調の所有するベッテージのうちゲスト館だけを領事館として、シスワケに譲渡している形ですな。え、それって何いや、アブスティック
on the same level as Sylvie and Minato? Not that I had any clue what the power balance was like for the people of Sword of Lids. <laughs> you were gone for like two minutes. What do you mean? Minachan came down a short time later. Oh. I don't think we even tell her to do so. Yeah, she is a little late. Enough time had passed for Minachan to show up, get ready, and come back, and yeah, there was still no sign of either Ellie or so. Minachan wanted to run this errand of her own accord. She really was a great girl at heart. Hmm? But she stopped in her tracks. She must have known where it was and looked in the same direction Sylvie had walked off earlier. Hmm? With a bitter look in her eyes. She really can't go in there? Huh? Which was when those two came along. Oops, sorry, Mina. A deaf child? That was random, why? What is this, make a wish? We saw Minachan off as she left for work. Okay, then with that... On what, porn? What kind of job? Bam. Ella's face flashed bright red with such enthusiasm it felt like I should. It should be accompanied by that booming of a sound. This dredged up the same mood as yesterday. Awkward. So he gazed blankly at Reina's evil expression. <laughs> she tried to hold herself back up in her room, but once the game subject was brought up, she came back. I had no idea what the fixation was on that game, but we kept Ella from getting away since she didn't want us to think she was playing a game. Oh man, I hope he finds out. This is funny. Given the rare occasion, the four of us ended up going into town together. <laughs> My relationship with Ella was still in touchy territory. We had kissed, and she had rejected me. There was no avoiding it. That sounds fire. But we have to wrap it up here. My timer just went off too, and I just doop right away. Alrighty. Wow. Well, I feel like this episode. Uh, I wasn't expecting for Oro to shoot his shot the way he did. But. I don't know. It was a good episode, though. I mean, there was that funny bit with Reyna, of course, because it's Reyna. And then the whole kiss and getting rejected thing. Ouchie, ouch. Ouch. I'm sure it'll work out at the end because it's a visual novel, you know, the happy endings and stuff. But, uh, I can't wait to see where this goes. I mean, I'm really, 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 the more I play this route, the more I like Ella and the more I like the route. So, at the end of the, this game, and I've talked about this and said this several times already. I'm going to have a rough time choosing or thinking about who the best actually is and which was the actually, is actually the best. But so far, this was really good. I'm having a great time with it. 
And I like how flustered Ella gets, you know, because obviously she's she may be spicy and scary at times, but also when it comes to things like this, it's almost like she does not know how to act. She literally does not. <laughs> but that's all I have to say about this episode. It was it was a good episode. I loved it. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi. And if you did, please let me know by hitting that like, subscribe if you made it this far and you haven't already done so. And if you want to see more games like these, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have any other kind of game that you want me to check out that's a visual novel, please let me know in the comment section as well. Anyways, I'm out of here. Y'all stay safe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, guys.